All right, guys, they're my Max 6, and we are in the East Coast Mecca, and we are about five weeks away from the New York Pro, and I got uh, Big Sean right here, Sean Claria, man. What's going on, buddy? Same old stuff, man. I appreciate you guys uh, obviously bringing me out here, filming for New York Pro. Very excited. It's been a great off-season, great year. I'm ready to kick the basketball. I'm so excited to see this. The first time we actually shoot and actually shoot through Facebook. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm glad you came today because you don't train here most of the time. You actually train in New Jersey, right? Yeah, I wish I trained here, but I live about an hour and a half away from here. Oh, so, my God. I mean, it's a pleasure to train here, but I can't do it every day. I know. Well, I'm <laughs> glad you came for this shoot. And then uh, you were trying to keep this on the DL right now, not to do the new, but now the cat's going to be out of the bag. You know that. Yeah. I was talking <laughs> Matt on the way here. He's like, you know, you're filming. Everyone's going to know what you're doing now. I was like, you know what? It's time. So, let's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, you know, we kept it pretty hush-hush this entire year for, yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Didn't want any distractions, didn't want anyone, you know, kind of getting in my head. But uh, now, it's, you know, time is, is what it is at this point in time. That's right. You're one of Matt's guy, Matt Jensen, so we're going to talk about yeah. it later. So yeah. what, are we, what, are we, what are we training today, Sean? We're some arms in today. So we're going to do some arms today, and then after that, we're going to wrap a little bit. We're going to talk about your prep, yep. what it's like to work with Matt, and then how uh, this last year has been for you. Sounds good. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate it. All right, Big Sean, man. It's time to uh, get to know you a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've been around for a while. Um, I actually didn't start out in NPC, obviously. I eventually came over to NPC in 20, uh, 2011, okay. 2010, whatever it was. Did the uh, Nationals in 2012. Actually, let's go back a little bit. 2011, I did the uh, NPC Mid Atlantic. Then I went to the Nationals and I played dead last in the Bantamweight class. It was definitely an eye opener for myself. Uh, as soon as I got back from the Nationals that year, right back to the gym, right back to work. Came out the following year, 2012 Nationals, ended up winning the class and my pro card. So, so from last to first. Yeah, from last nice. to first. You know, it's so it's definitely doable. And I got my pro card. And everyone kind of said, you know, you know, your career's over. You know, there, there aren't any bad ways doing anything in, in the in the uh, pro league. So I was like, you know, that's not me. I know I'm gonna eventually get there. I'm eventually keep working, keep busting my ass, and I'll definitely be a good pro. Wasn't Dexter bad way when he started? He was a bit, yeah, actually, <laughs> was a bit of a I mean, myself, you know, him, yeah. uh, Marvin Ward, another yeah. lighter guy, even David Henry started as a lighter guy, and eventually made a name for himself, so I'm yeah. doing it now. Yeah, there you go. You're good company. Yeah. So, you get the pro status. Took the pro card in 2012, I obviously accepted it, took an entire year off, 2013, made my pro debut at the New York Pro in uh, 2014, I placed uh, 13th, obviously, my first pro show, not expectation, just happy to be there. Came back the following year, uh, 2015, placed seventh. So I'm moving up. Yeah. You know, with that, in 2015, started uh, working with John Meadows, made major improvements. Um, Talk about that. Talk about the training with John. Uh, I've been training with John now for two years. First, I, I, obviously, I trained with Matt Jansen, my coach, but I also work with uh, John Meadows for my training. You know, I feel like I have the best team. You know, Matt's very smart, very knowledgeable, very in, in tune with my body. Johnny, everyone knows mountain dog training is brutal and it definitely works. So I forgot the best team. I have the, you know the best look coming to the stage this year. A combination of you know two brains between John and Matt himself. So talk about the training. You were talking about the training with John off camera and what you've been doing like at recent. Uh, you know, John's. You know, if anyone's trained with John, he, he, like I said, workouts are brutal, very painful. Uh, so we did a 12 week, uh, very high intensity, high intensity training. We did chest, back, and arms three times a week, and then we did uh, legs twice a week. So we did it for 12 weeks. Then we backed off a little intensity a little bit. You know, went to traditional back day, chest day, leg day. And then now we're obviously six weeks out from New York Pro. We went back to the intensity because I can recover fast. He's like, you know, I want to keep you as big as possible, get your condition, I won't do as much cardio. So now we're doing back, chest, and uh, arms three times a week again. And now legs twice a week as well. Wow. So. And then, so you've been also working with Matt for? My second season with Matt. Second season, okay. Yeah. And how's that? I love it. You know, I hired Matt. I brought Matt on last year, literally a week before New York Pro last year. Why'd you do that so late? <laughs> you know, it just, I, I wasn't 100% confident. Okay. I've known Matt, obviously, for a long time. Never really had a chance to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. We talked before the New York Pro, and I just kind of gave him my thoughts and my opinions. And, you know, I said, you know what? You know, he, he told me some things that, that worked. I felt like it would work for my body, and I said, let's do it. And obviously, we had a great place at the New York Pro last year, placed third. My highest Ooh. placing in the New York Pro, which is amazing. Um, and then obviously it's been working. So this is off season, work with Matt again, as well as John. And I got my way up to 180, which is the highest I've ever been in my life. Yeah, how old were you last year? You're telling me off camera. You were yeah, so this time last year, five weeks out from New York Pro, I was 155. Five weeks out from this year's New York Pro, right now I'm sitting at 171. Wow. So it's That's huge. damn near 20 pounds bigger, That's fuller, crazy. harder. A lot of improvements have been made in my chest, my back. 
and they definitely show on stage. Wow, you must be excited for this year then. I, you know, honestly, Matt and I talked after Olympia last year, and uh, we thought maybe it'd be a good idea to take the year off, just to get a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. But after seeing my place in New York last year, and talking to Steve Weinberger, and you know, getting his opinion, his feedback on how I looked at New York Pro last year, I told Matt, I'm so close, I, I need that title. New York Pro. That's my Olympia, personally. Yeah. I remember the New York Pro was the first pro show I ever went to when I was an amateur. It's a huge show, man. Huge show. So to get that win, I just, that puts me on level with you know, some of the top guys in the sport, and I need that title, so that's why I'm doing it this year. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Well, if, you, if the history is any, any guy, you know, from 50 to 7 to 3rd, I mean, it's <laughs> like, you know, there's yeah. not many spots left to go, so. I, I, I think I've made a lot of improvements. Um, the, my main thing is everyone says, I got everything going on, I got the flow, I got the symmetry, conditioning, it's just size. And I'm not a big guy, I'm only 5'2", but uh, I'd definitely be at least 10 to 12 pounds bigger this year, and that's definitely going to show. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. What were you on stage last year? Uh, I weighed in, weigh -ins around, what's that, 159 at the New York Pro wow. last year, 160. What does Matt think you think he'll be this year? We put a number, we didn't put a real number on it, but we say no less than 170 on stage. Yeah, he year. always sort of know. Yeah, you know, he's but you know, once we fill out a little bit, I'd say maybe we'll closer to 175. Wow, so, that's major. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. 15 pounds on a 5'2 frame, and just, you know, Matt's happy. You know, Matt's happy with how I looked. Obviously, John's happy knowing that your training is working for myself. Yeah. And this is probably, I'm very confident this year. I'm very happy with how things are looking. Obviously, I'm hard on myself. My girlfriend, you know, she's my, my second eye. She trains with you every day. She trains with me every day, man. Yeah. I can't train without her. I mean, my motivation, 100%. She pushes me. She's a hard ass. There's days I hate her, but in a good way. <laughs> you know, and I, I remember she, I asked her one day, you know, how do I look? You know, how's my arm? She's like, you look small. So oh. again, she's not a kiss ass, yeah. and that's what I need. That's what you need in your corner. You don't want to tell me, yes, 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 you mm -hmm. look great. Yeah. I don't need that. That's not going to help me improve and get better. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you have a really good team behind you, man. Amazing and, uh, and uh, you seem in a really good spirit. Five weeks out, you're not tired. You say you have a lot of energy. Everybody has to see you here. You don't come yeah. to Steve too often, but everybody seems really happy to see you. And, and they all say, man, if I was, if I could be this big at my height, I'd kick everybody's <laughs> ass. <laughs> so that's it's, it's been an amazing season, man. I've, I've never felt so great. I, I'm tired at moments, but I'm just so energetic. Training has been amazing. I'm still going heavy as all hell in the gym. I'm not letting up. That title is, is within reach, and I'm gonna get it this year. That's why I hope you do, man. Talk to me about your clothing line. Show me that. Uh, cool. So you know, this is my line. Obviously, uh, everybody nice. with the giant killer. Giant killer, yep. Obviously, so you know, this is something small. I started a couple years ago with a few T-shirts. Uh, now we're moving into more T-tops, tank tops, hoodies. I got my hats and everything. Not really out there much, but as we move, you know, closer and closer to the show, and definitely Olympia, we'll get a lot more things out. So you'll definitely see it on my Instagram. My Facebook, if you guys follow me. What is your Instagram? What is your Facebook? Give it. Uh, like my name, I have to be pro Sean Corrido on Facebook and it's Sean Corrido on Instagram. There you go. We'll put it in. Yeah. All right, man. Best of luck. Thank you so much for driving an hour and a half. No, to come dude, here, thank man. you, man. I've been watching videos for years. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've always watched it. I'm like, damn, it's like it's awesome. You're always in Cali, so I know. Well, I say one day I'll get there and obviously reach out to me. I, I definitely appreciate it. I'm glad to be on this. Well, I hope this is the first one of many, man. Yeah, absolutely. Will All be. right. Thank you so much and good thank luck you, in five weeks. Thank you, guys. Bye.